Hello, here it's Wolfgang. In the background it's my sweetheart, my wife, Leticia. Hello, hola, como están? To, um, I want to discuss with her, or oh, for me it's much easier when I talk with her over dogs. Also I talk only straight in the, in the camera. I want to do in the future um, more internet work of this, of this I reach more audience, I get more people and I hope I can give my knowledge um, to more, more, more people. Um, let's say it only a question why the European pe uh, dogs, it's better dogs or the American dogs. So not all of them but the, the most. Number one, it's because Europe, I'm talking here from California, Europe have really four seasons. The winter, the spring, the summer and the fall. And the dogs, it's more with the nature uh, confronted. And then uh, of the other side, the people who really trains in Europe, it's special people. Special people who it's very sensitive uh, to get to get intense with the dogs, get this, can read in the spirit from the dog. What we in, in California here, we want to make the dog all like a human. And we, we think the dog have common sense. Uh, what it's not, uh, not right. We have to go much more in the life from the dog and in the spirit from the dog. The dog have not so many experience okay let's go in in this a little bit deeper and I want to explain what it's the spirit what's the different many people don't understand anymore what is the spirit we talking over spirits evil and all this but we don't know we are we are rounded about spirits and the dog it's living in spirits uh, this starting already when I have uh, uh, puppies. I breed, uh, uh, I breed with a father and a mother who I believe I study both. Both it's healthy, both have the temperament, both it's um, clear in the head and then I breed with this. And then comes puppies. And when I have here five or I have ten puppies, I, I see already um, what it's the difference from the puppies, the temperament, the he's small or it's big, he have big hair, big bones or have smaller bones, and um, in when I play with my puppies, not only once I play with him over eight weeks or um, two, three times a day, then I I see what it's the good quality, and I expect already for my good quality I feel this and when I when I get this this puppy sent out then I look to everybody gets his right family or person the one have more temperament the other it's more mellow and I as a breeder I have to look to everybody gets the right fit people come and say I want to have a big dog with big bones and and then it's small people and cannot even uh, hold a big dog because uh, we to, to a dog it's um, trained off leash we go a, a, a hard way and then a big dog and a stubborn dog and a dog with a lot of temperament I have to really uh, need a person who um, it's tough and have power and it's consequent and firm so when I when I talking now about raising a puppy, I go with my puppy in the in the public and I control everything. What the puppy doing? I have a a, a program. I never let my puppy going in a situation who is scared. When he it's the first time scared, and puppies and dogs never forget. And he comes later on in a situation who he remembers and this time who he was scared, he has immediately his breakdown. He's insecure, he wants to walk away. And 
this is when when something goes wrong in his racing. This is spiritual duel. I feel how my puppy is. I feel how my dog is it's insecure and I have to stabilize and cheer him up or uh, he's confident. Uh, I never let him go in a scary situation when he's at least one or two years old. I control everything. When I'm talking about I control everything, of course I have to socialize my dog too. Uh, I give my I go with my puppies in public, in parties. I let them pet from people. But um, I don't give them other people in uh, uh, the leash in the hand. Because my dog and my puppy it's not the toy for other people. So when I have kids and have kids it's sometimes um, out of control. And uh, you have a little puppies and they, everybody's excited. But I control how these kids interact to my dog. When the kids goes too wild, I say, hang on, hang on, and let me take my puppy away. Okay? This is what I mean with I control everything. So be, because in the end, I want to have a really stable, um, stable and hard and confident dog. So when I play with my dog, then I go in his limits, but never over his limits. I go in his limits and I push him there and after this I stabilize him and the most time to the easy way to do this is when the dog have a lot of play drive because play drive means the dog loves to play the lo dog loves to to bite in in a in a toy or in a in a ball or in a bite bite uh, sausage when he have his pacifier he's like hypnotized he's um out from the out from this whole situation in this we call this this is his island when you feel when you feel the dog comes in stress and maybe too much in stress or he's all in his borders then give him his reward give him his toy and then he he relax again and this is how I train my dogs in this the pacifier goes all over his life. He gets every exercise, what he learns, in obedience, in tracking, in protection. Um, he needs after this, doesn't matter if it's a police dog or a family dog, he needs his reward. This is why he works. He needs his pacifier. He needs his toy. He learns to make hold and work and you make you make this you finish the exercise with a recall and um, with a fi finish the whole situation and then give you give him his toy. This is his payment. This is why he lives for this. And this is our breeding. So, but now I want to talk later a little bit more if, over the details and over different breedings. Okay. So to not everybody have the same expectation and the same breedings or in different breedings. Okay? When you like this video, please give me the thumb up downstairs. Okay? And then uh, I see you next time. Thank you.